so uh, in this module i'll talk about how you design a database that is called as entity relationship modeling or uh, this is the design it will cover the steps and the processes very very briefly uh, which are there when we design a database application of course for a web based database application we have to take into consideration other aspects also in addition to er modeling entity relationship modeling i will also cover 12 rules 12 rules uh, which are about called as the cords rules and those 12 rules are about the relational model which we will be discussing throughout this course relational model is how the database application is developed and what is at the back end uh, i have discussed very very briefly with you the layer in the previous module so uh, what is an entity entity can be something uh, which is important to a business for an application it could be something which is uh, which is living thing it may not be living thing for example a living thing like a student or a non living thing like a course or like a, a lecture room and so on or like an automobile also so entity is something which is of importance to the business entities uh, can be collection and these are those uh, things without which the business doesn't make any sense so these are the important ingredients of a business of an application that is an entity and uh, entity has attributes attributes are the properties uh, for example a student is an entity right a course is an entity uh, the attributes of the student could be and are the name of the student the address of the student the gpa of the student uh, the courses uh, which the students the takes that is related to the course taken that is the relational aspect which i will cover so let's very very briefly look at some of the uh, the type of attributes for example we have the simple attribute or the atomic attribute it means that if i break the attribute divide it into parts it doesn't make any sense then i can have the composite attribute also which is the attribute which is created by combining the properties uh from multiple attributes that is the composite attribute then i have called as the single valued attribute such as the social security number or as the nic number uh that attribute has a unique value a person doesn't have uh two social security numbers or two id numbers so that is the single value attributes then are the multi value attributes say for example the cell numbers a person can have multiple cell numbers and a person can take multiple courses also so those are the multi valued attributes and then i have the entity keys set keys so i have the super key which is a set of attributes then i have the primary key a primary key is a unique and it doesn't repeats itself and i can identify an entity based upon the primary key and of course i have the candidate key also so the the most important key over here is this primary key so this is used for the identification purposes and this is also a single valid thing you see over here so though this is also unique so now let's look at how the things tie together and the, we go through the cardinalities the cardinality mean over here it is the size basically it is the size of the set so one to when relationship is uh, a type of relationship say for example the car of the ceo can be parked at the spot which is reserved for the ceo so that is a one to one relationship so the ceo car will be parked over there and no other car can be parked over there so of course then there are one to many relationships and uh, many to many relationship also over here so this is the type of relationship say for example a uh, a student can take multiple courses and a course can be taken by multiple students i will go into all of these details so we have the entity we have the attributes and we have these cardinality relationships in an er model so when we tie together all these things so what we have uh, this diagram in, in front of you 
so i have this entity over here entity you can call it entity one you can call it entity two and this this entity one say for example has attribute one and attribute two and of course this also has attribute one and attribute two and this is the relationship which ties together these entities it ties together these entities now i can uh, assign values to these attributes and to these entities you can see over here so the name is an attribute the gender is an attribute and of course the course is an entity and there are attributes of the course also so with this now i move on to something which is called as the 12 rules the chords 12 rules now these 12 rules uh, are by the famous uh, you can call him a mathematician or you can call him the the relational modeler who did who developed the relational model so i will briefly go over these 12 uh, rules of chord and uh, when we go to the detail of this lecture i will talk about these rules in detail and i will also give you examples of those rules so first is the information rule the information rule in simply states that the data is stored uh, in a table and by by the basis upon the rows and column i can access the data and i can use the primary key to access to get what i want then is the guaranteed access rule it means that uh, i can get what i want and there is no hindrance to it and uh, that accessible data is there in the table systematic treatment of null this is very interesting because if the data over there is missing if the data is not available or it is not applicable then you cannot leave it empty or put a zero over there so it is what we are saying over here is uh, missing it is not applicable or it is not available it is not available okay that is the case over there active online catalog so the way we have data stored in the tables the same way we have the data about the tables stored as tables comprehensive data sub language rule it means that we have a language also which is the sql and of course uh, these are 12 rules and uh, we cannot go over all of those rules in detail in this module but i promise you that i will go through them in detail in the module when it comes